Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. So uh, I have never heard of this company. Uh, Ironfly. I did find that some of their products are sold on White Mountain Knives and you know truthfully there's a lot of brands that I have not experienced. There's a lot of budget brands I think in particular that I have not experienced. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and open these up and check them out. I'll tell you guys what I think and uh, link them down below so you guys can check them out if you want to. It does help my channel when you use those links but that's entirely up to you. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Also thanks to, I assume, Ironfly for sending these in. Um, I think it's, uh, it's important to periodically experience new brands, right? I mean, otherwise I just get stuck with the same stuff over and over and over again. And I mean, it's worth at least checking some of these out. Sometimes there are indicators you can tell whether or not the brand is actually serious or if they're just, you know, there's a difference between stuff like this and stuff like frost cutlery. So this model, oh neat, okay, it comes with an extra pocket clip. That's nice. Um, feels good right off the bat. This is, uh, it's the Ironfly and this is the Zesty. So, let me move these so the camera's not, yeah, the detent feels good right off the bat. We have VG10, which considering, so right before the video I looked up the price tag and I'm not too upset um, at the price for VG10. Uh, the detent feels good. There's a little bit of lock stick. It's kind of a crunch. <laughs> not too bad. Detent feels good though. Action feels good. Uh, honestly, the action's very smooth. Uh, I noticed right away that it was off-centered. And I think this is, a, this is a message to any and all uh, budget brand, budget company. Um, you know, an anomalies occur, right? If you, got, if you make like, uh, you know, a couple hundred pocket knives and one of them's off center, okay. But um, you shouldn't be sending your products to reviewers. <laughs> you shouldn't be, I mean, the, let, let's get this straight. You shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't allow, you know, a bunch of knives to come out of your factory with off center blades. It's 2023, it's not, you know, 2004. Uh, it's off center blades are just not an acceptable thing anymore, right? That's, that's something we gotta have correct. So first and foremost, you should not be, you know, letting a, a large percentage of these knives leave your factory with off-centered blades. People don't wanna get them, consumers don't wanna get them out of the box with an off-center blade. Um, but you also don't wanna be sending them to <laughs> reviewers that way, because we're gonna highlight it. It's no longer an excusable thing. Uh, I'm gonna start, I'm actually gonna start um, coming down a little bit harder. Could it be adjusted out? Probably. The rest of the knife feels like it was machined uh, and created in a way where they were concerned with tolerances, right? Um, but this this is one of those things. It's like, listen, if you can get these uh, pieces of micarta lined up with the scales underneath perfectly, if you can perfectly mill the hole that's meant for the um, fastener to fit in, right? I mean, look at how close we have the scales to the pivot, right? You're not skipping there. Why are you skipping here? This shouldn't be that difficult. If everything is machined properly, then it should come out centered. That's, people want that. We don't want to see non-centered blades anymore. There's no blade play. I'm trying to see, I'm almost certain that we're, we're gonna be running on bearings. Yeah, I can see the spaces in there. So we do have bearings. No detent lash. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. Lockstick seems to be wearing away almost immediately. Just since the beginning of the video. Yeah, it's almost non-existent now. Okay, all right, I'll give it that. I'll give it that. No blade play up, down, left, or right. I wanna say these are 58 bucks. This is contoured, chamfered at the edges, little line in here, right? Just a little, little extra zest on the zesty. Uh, the blade, drop point blade, says Ironfly. I'm not a huge fan of you know, the giant logo, the giant billboarding. We've, we have VG10, Zesty, VF01. 
We don't need Zesty. We don't need VFO1. I don't know what that is. We don't need it. If you absolutely have to print it on the blade, print it underneath where no one can see it because people don't want to see these codes and things. We don't need to see that it's the Zesty. We know that because we, you know, hypothetically, we bought it, right? We also don't need this massive, here's what I would do, get rid of the iron fly and just keep the fly logo and do it really, really small right here. All of those changes are, are suggestions, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this confidently, they're very good suggestions. <laughs> uh, we have a reversible clip, that's nice. That's a smart move, right? Don't really care too much about the glass breaker, some people do, but you can flip this over and that's a great way to do that. That's a really fantastic way to do that. Overall fit and finish is good. And again, could I adjust the centering? Yes, probably. But come on. Come on. We got another one here. Let's see if this one's better. Green, how did I know? <laughs> All right, so we got the green iron fly. Feels exactly the same. This one did not come out with lock stick. How about centering? Okay. Yeah, I'll give, I'll, I'll give that one. I'll give that one. Okay, so we're, you know, we're one and one here. Um, so, uh, but still, you know, let's let's try to let's try to get the centering good, right? Um, but yeah, I think I think that's all right. This one also no blade play up, down, left, or right. Smooth, consistent, detent feels about the same. Okay, so tolerances are there. I think I think these are fifty eight bucks and. You know, while I still don't like to see VG10 like creeping up to the, I kind of, you know, gave it this unfair label for a long time. I was always like, I love 154CM and I just don't like VG10. And I must have had a couple of bad experiences it, with it a while back and they sort of shaped my opinion. Uh, I have had so many people tell me you need to look back into VG10. Its performance is very, very similar, if not identical to 154CM. And it turns out that that is actually the case. And I've been you know, misinformed for a very long time. I still don't really like to see it. It's kind of like with 154CM. Above a certain point, I expect it to be CPM 154. I don't like to see, you know, I guess I have a little bit more room for 154. I just have this like unfair bias that, that's against VG10. But I don't really like to see VG10 knives creeping up over a hundred bucks, right? And maybe I got a little bit of a $20 extra parameter where I'm just like, I'll accept 154 CM. And after that, it should be CPM, right? Uh, but with VG10, I like to see it closer to the $50 mark, which is where we generally see a lot of 154 CM nowadays anyway. I would say generally between 60 and 85 bucks, we see that still pretty commonly. So I'm okay with VG10 being there too. At $58, I don't have a problem with VG10 at all. In fact, I think that's one of the better blade steels that you can get right alongside 14C28N, 154 CM. We could probably throw Nitro V and 690 in there, right? There's a couple other steels. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, everything but the centering here really, I think is all right. Um, outside of that though, pretty basic straightforward design. I mean, really one of the only interesting things here, because they're doing the same thing that everybody else is doing, um, outside of getting their centering correct, uh, it's just the VG10 at 58 bucks is kind of a, hey, wow, we don't usually see that, right? So, okay, the rest of the design, pretty good. I like the ambi clip, ergonomics are decent. Uh, manipulation, access to the lock bar is good. Blade geometry seems good. Um, they're getting the cutting bevels right. Right out of the box, the blade is super sharp. Factory edge is definitely good to go. Um, yeah, okay. They're fine. I'll link them. You guys will see a review on these guys. I don't think there's anything super duper special here, but you know, not terrible. I just really <laughs> got to start hammering down on that blade centering uh, element. Uh, I can't be given given passes to to that anymore. So, anyways. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.